Hey guys and welcome to episode 3. Um, okay now I've just realized we've been building this level but we've missed out. One of the most important aspects of, of a game is its lighting. And as you can see we've got no lights. That's our problem, we've got no lights. So we're going to go ahead and make some lights to add into the level. So first I'm going to add a cylinder which will be what the light will be hanging on. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. I'll make that uh, a little bit longer. Actually, that doesn't that doesn't need to have that many edges, considering it's going to be so small. We'll give it six. That'll do. Just going to enlarge it. Enlarge it. Actually, wait, that's that's too long. That's way too long. That's not going to fit. So she fit. So now, uh, back to optimizing. We're going to go ahead and delete faces that we don't need. We literally just want the sides so we can get rid of the top and bottom yeah bottom and now that we have that all sorted and maybe a little bit more thinner <laughs> yeah, a little bit longer it's hard to say without the actual light attached to it so for now we're just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna go ahead and add a cube to attach here which will not wait it's not the light it's the bit that attaches to the light so I'm going to do exactly what I've done with the pipe and I'm going to copy the coordinates over so that it's practically in the center. We don't actually need the Y, but we do need the Z. There, so that's in the center. And I'm just going to size that down, make it a bit smaller. It's like the sort of attachment. It's what's going to be connecting the light and the pole. The pole? The rope. Whatever you want to call it. It can be a pole or a red or anything. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and select that and just size that down a little bit. So you know, it's not just a cube. So if somebody actually does like, I don't know, get a sniper and zoom in on the lights, just just to check how well you've built the level, they can see it's not just a cube. Um, so yeah, there's that done. So now we're gonna add the actual light base. So we're gonna create a cube, drag that back up here. Up there, down. Now, back to optimization, we don't need that face there, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that face. Go back to object mode. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and create, create, copy the translation again. We want that pretty much in the center. So the X and Z, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy them over. So now it should be, yeah, it's in the center. Okay. Now comes the actual building part. We're gonna have to build the frame for the light. So I'm just gonna improvise and see where it goes from there because that's one of the best things I like doing. It just shows that I'm creative, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that creative. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this, make this roughly thin because don't forget we have to fit lights in there. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit longer as well because that's not long enough. Um, does that seem... Yeah, that seems fair, that seems fair. So go back to face, I'm going to select all the outside edges. Hold shift, I'm going to click extrude. Now I'm going to drag these out a little bit, so about uh, enough for the sides, about there. That will do. And then out of all the bottom faces from the extruded that we just made, I'm just going to select all of them and I am going to extrude again. So as you can see, we've kind of made like a box now. Now I'm going to hit R to um, get the scale tool out and I'm just going to scale that in a little bit and then I'm going to scale the blue one in a little bit more so it's sort of like that. I'm going to hit the W tool and I'm just going to move it back up a little bit. Actually I'm going to scale it up a little bit more just so it's... Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's starting to look a little bit like a light. I might even just drag that down a bit again. Okay, now to make the actual... Um, the bulbs to go inside. So um, we're gonna go and create cylinders again. So everybody likes creating cylinders. So there we go. We got our cylinder. Um, once it, uh, actually we'll we'll keep it with eight eight edges edges segments subdivision axis on eight. Sort of meant to say. <laughs> I should really have breakfast. 
Uh, so we'll change that to 90 because we want it to be on its side. Now, clearly we're going to have to scale this down because <laughs> that's, that's too big. So I'm going to I'm going to drag this in the actual frame. Let's make sure it fits. Go ahead, hit not space. I'm going to change this to wireframe mode. I like that helps. <laughs> it does a little bit. I'm going to change my view to this one here, which is the front view, so I can see on the side. Just make sure that it fits in, get the right height. Uh, about there, that that seems realistic. So we go ahead and click and drag this. Make sure it fits in. Uh, and try to get as much in the center as I can. Now here comes the, well not tricky bit, just face, and select these. I'm going to make sure that it's not piercing any of the corners, that it's actually fitting in perfectly inside the frame. I'll do that to both sides. And, oh. Okay. Basically, as you can see that if I didn't rotate it, it would be outside the frame, which we clearly don't want, so I'm going to rotate it. And as you can see, that's inside the frame. Which means it's perfect, and we can go ahead and hit delete to delete that face that was selected. And I forgot to do that on this side, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it again. Hit delete. And there we go, it's inside now. And if we look at the bottom, there it is. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and make that bigger again. So actually, looking at it from this view, it's, it just seems small. I'm going to size it up a bit more. I'm going to go back to this view and make sure it fits back in the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it down to the left. Just see if we can go up a bit. That'll do. There we go. So now I'm just going to duplicate that. I'll just move it and we say we can fit three in here. So right about there. There we go. That <laughs> just came up perfect. Alright, so once again, make life easier. Select all of it, mesh, combine. And then we have to go ahead and hit insert. Right, move tool, hit insert. And we're going to go ahead and do what we usually do. Just move that into the center, but I don't want it on the center, I want it along the top. And uh, that'll make sense when we're inside the actual editor of the game, which will be Unity for us. Um, I'll explain it when we're inside. In the center. And there we go. There's our new pivot point. We go ahead and hit the move tool, and there you go. Now we want to do it to this as well, so mesh, combine. I'm going to hit insert and just do the same thing as we just done before. And I'll move along here and place it on the edge. We're right in the center. I'm just going to move out, make sure it's in the center. Go a little bit more to the left. That's roughly the same. We go there. Hit F again. And just move on to the actual object. There we go. So now we have our light all nice and working. Okay, so duplicate, move that to the other end of the light. There we go, we have a light now in our hangar. But that's just a roof light. Roof light? Can I call it a roof light? We're also going to go ahead and make a wall light real quick. So we'll drag this, get our temporary wall back, go back in. Okay, now just to save time, rather than creating a whole new cube, I'm just going to duplicate that one and move that to the wall. Change the rotation to zero, because that's pretty much what creating a cube would have done. So now we have these. We want to create a wall light. Um, I don't. You don't really need to look at a reference for this. We can we can wing it because they're pretty self-explanatory, right? I think this is where I completely fail at making it, but I fail in style. So I'm going to go ahead and select that face, drag it out, give it some rotation, drag it out a little bit more, move in, 
Okay, let's go to that way a bit. And we go ahead and click on the button. Yeah, the button. I'm gonna go ahead and hit extrude and then straight away hit the scale tool. I'm gonna scale it in a little bit more. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the move tool and move. Move it up a little bit and then extrude once again and extrude that up. Now as you can see it's piercing that face there which clearly we do not want. I'm going to go ahead and scale that, just make it a little bit smaller. Actually wait, but we can go back to that view. We can change that to Y mode and just make sure that's sitting inside all nice and happy. As you can see it clearly is. So that is fine. Um, that's object. And that's pretty much what a wall light is, right? Okay. I don't know what light is, is it maybe rotate that way a bit. Go in like that. That's a light. That can be our light. That was a lot easier to make than I thought it would be. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the face that we're not looking at. That we will never see. So move that in. And there is our wall light. Okay. We've got a wall light and we have our main light, which we should probably have more than one. If I move that hit space, go to this view, see our whole level from the top, move it into the middle of the room, and duplicate it and then make another one over there for the actual platform. Okay. That seems fair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. And what, what time are we on? We're on 11. Okay, I'm going to end this one here and I will see you in the next one.